Ladies and gentlemen, fight number six this evening will be contested in the lightweight division of a three three-minute rounds. And introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 70.3 kilos and trains out of Australian top team, holding an amateur record of six victories, three defeats and one draw. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Hayder, the smiling assassin, Kudam. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, he weighed in at 70.5 kilos and trains out of Chincogan Peak. With four fights as an amateur, he holds one win. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Corey Dusty Poncho Cotto. When the action begins, your referee in charge, Phil Cassidy. Phil Cassidy once again, his hands full, Hyder in the blue cottle in the red this fight proudly brought to you by our sponsors at TikTok nutrition and there was a bit of bad blood yesterday at the way and nonetheless these guys do touch gloves and we are underway yeah look just to clarify is his nickname the dusty poncho that's spectacular i don't know what it means but um i like it the dusty look, poncho confirmed by daniel maudsley as mentioned by ben vickers Look, Corey's um, fought previously at featherweight, so he's obviously bulked up a little bit. He's, he's a big, tall boy. Um, I expected this fight to be scrambling, and it started off that way. Well, Haida Kudir finding himself on the bottom. He's got an open guard here, so he's looking to be active with those hips. Corey Cottle trying to flatten him out, unsuccessful. And yeah, look, Vickers, think he'd be dangerous off his back, like, just like, like that. He's got those long legs, that perfect jiu-jitsu physique for the guard player, so uh, Corey's going to have to watch himself in there. Um, well, he's doing a good job with those legs, Ben. He, th he dived back into the guard there. He's obviously happy in the guard, but now the triangle's back on again. He's got to be careful here, does Corey I mean, he's, Cottle. He's got, some, he, he's got to get his head away, as far away. There he goes, he's going to slip out. He might have an armbar. He's got an armbar. Here. And yeah, that's tapped. it, a quick tap from Haidaku there, right in front of his corner. And boy, aren't they happy. Just like that! Wow! Ladies and gentlemen, our referee has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute and 18 seconds of round number one. Declaring your winner by submission due to an armbar in the blue corner, Hayda, the smiling assassin, Kudan! And Ben Vickers talk us through this momentous occasion. What a way to earn your blue belt here tonight yeah, at Eternal 58. Doesn't that mean the world? Yeah, it really does. And look, you, you notice when the athletes get awarded their belts, how happy they are. They're almost happier to be awarded their belt. I noticed with that. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with our winner, the Smiling Assassin, and what an incredible performance. Getting the victory with a first round armbar submission. Talk to us a little bit about that finishing sequence. First of all, I just want to take the time and thanks my cousins and my friends and my family that came down all the way from Sydney to fucking support me. I love yous. I love yous. Especially thanks to my coaches, Ashkan and Suman, Alex, Fahud, all my coaches at Australian Top Team. I love you so much. I couldn't do it without yous. Especially thanks to the Australian Top Team, the whole team. I love yous all. Well, you certainly made them all proud and touching on the finish again, that first round armbar, and it must mean a lot more now with that blue belt draped around your shoulders. Man, to be honest, everyone thinks I'm a striker, but you don't know what's happening. You don't know what we're working on at the gym. You just don't know. But I guess what? You just have to find out. You gotta find out. Well, you certainly put the Australian scene on notice tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your winner, the smiling assassin.